बोला बोला हृदय खोले क्यों छारा मार सीता बोले शैली खाली खोला बाचे मेर हम पहाड़ वन जंगल हम भगवान सर हो हम जंगल में हमें पाइने आवश्यकता सब पाइन घास दौरा पानी जड़ीबुटी सब चीज हमला तैंट पाइज हम तै जन्मिने तै खेलने यहीं हम उपस्थ कर खाई रख हमें राम The Greater Himalayan region is home to more than 150 million people and provides water, food and other resources to another 450 million or more in the plains and river basins below. The ecosystem and environment of these mountains are fragile and a rapidly growing population is increasing the pressure on the land. Hamro ban jangal bhaneko hamro jivan ho. अलग जंगल चाहे जस्तु अब तो भाई अलग बढ़ा हुन पर्यटन हमारे छोरा नाता नातीनी सम्मान लगी जोगन पर्यटन हमें नकाटे हमें मस्त होते काट्न होते हमें राम राख्पर् पक्षी को भविष्यसम राम इसीमोट इज एन इंटरनेशनल सेंटर फर इंटिग्रेटेड माउंटेन डेवलपमेंट बेस्ड इन काठमंडू इन नेपाल इस्टाब्लिश्ड इन नाइन्टीन Isimot brings together a partnership of member countries, institutions and donors committed to sustainable development in the Greater Himalayan region. It serves the eight regional member countries of Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, China, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh and Myanmar. Isimot is a center for mountain learning and knowledge sharing, focusing on activities related to integrated mountain development the isimot demonstration and training center at kodavri is a prime example of isimot's integrated approach the site was set up in 1993 on sloping land at the southern edge of the kathmandu valley here ideas approaches and technologies for mountain farming natural resource management and income generation can be tested developed and demonstrated farmers development workers policy makers researchers students all can gain hands on experience of these technologies the activities focus on the two major issues challenging the region conservation of the natural resource base and poverty alleviation One of the first studies that ECMOD has done has shown that uh, mountain farmers and mountain farming systems uh, in all our mountain areas are much more integrated than in the plains. Uh, when uh, the farmer goes out to do her work every day, it's a combination of livestock, of uh, sloping land agriculture, of uh, flatland agriculture, of forestry of grasslands and using all of those together to produce the nutrients she requires to produce the product she requires uh and so we realized right from the beginning that uh, if isimo is going to be helpful for mountain farmers then we have to take uh, an integrated approach at the godavari site we show that there are practical methods available that can be used to rehabilitate degraded lands for sustainable mountain agriculture and improve the livelihoods and quality of life of farmers in the Himalayan region 30 hectares of land was generously provided by his majesty's government of Nepal the land is part of the natural forest and shrubland of the Fulchoki watershed When it was handed over, most of the site was heavily degraded through deforestation. People had taken all the useful trees and bushes and left only what couldn't be used. In Godavari, our first task was rehabilitation of the degraded forest land and we included number of economic plants, medicinal, aromatic, fruits, vegetables, uh, fodder, fuel wood. Uh, we were also aware of that uh, the fact that rehabilitation has to be sustainable in the long run 
we introduced number of new technologies such as sloping line agro agriculture technologies. Uh, we included uh, water conservation measures, and, uh, some of the scientific instrumentations, and uh, several others. Now the site has one of the best forests in the Kathmandu Valley. People come from all around to learn how to do this on their land. Our forest shows what can be done for the degraded forest areas of the mid-hills. Working closely with nature and environment, Godavri is an eye-opener. It inspires many people to work with sustainable approaches and helps them realize their relevance and importance. The activities at Godavari Centre uh, is focusing uh, also on biodiversity conservation where we are trying to restore the degraded forest and in the process we have used assisted natural regeneration technique and we see that uh, the biodiversity in past 10 years have really achieved a stage of natural uh, forest. In biodiversity, uh, the medicinal and aromatic plants uh, are uh, the resources that has lots of potential for income generation. And in Godavari, we have tried to demonstrate the cultivation of uh, some of these medicinal plants within the agroforestry system. More than 35 varieties of orchids have been found or introduced to the site and nearly 100 different species of medicinal and aromatic plants have been conserved and cultivated. Experiments and demonstrations have been conducted to reduce soil erosion and degradation and to improve soil quality and fertility. Conservation farming, agroforestry, sloping agricultural land technology, biofencing, use of green manure and cover crops and special composting methods are all demonstrated at the site. Sloping agricultural land technology is one of the big success stories. You plant fast-growing species along contour lines to create a living hedgerow barrier that traps sediments. The land is transformed naturally to terraces for growing crops and fruit trees. The hedges provide fodder and fertilizer and soil erosion ceases. One major limiting factor to sustainable development in many parts of the region is access to sources of energy. Activities at the site focus on demonstration of simple, low-cost, renewable energy technologies. These technologies can be used by farmers to support agricultural, domestic or small-scale income generating activities. They include different options for using solar energy and hydropower from simple dryers to pumps and electricity generation. There is even a method for turning the obnoxious forest weed banmara into charcoal briquettes to use in stoves. Many people come to learn about these technologies and then introduce them back in their villages. हमले गोदावरी सेंटर बाहर तेरे ही ट्रेनिंग ली कुछ हो जस्ते अब बाया ब्रिकेट बायो अब वो किसी समान तारकारी खेती आर बायो ब्रिकेट बार तो जाये हमले तेरे फायदा बाप कुछ हो अब बारखा को सीजन में अब दावरा खोलने पारे ना सजिल बायो यहाँ गोदावरी में विभिन्न किस्म का बोट बिरो औरो पाइंसा परिश्रम करिंसा � और आशाते जंगल पितरा होने नगते बाले जस्ते अलांचे अमरिशो जस्ले जे किसान हरो लाय आय अर्जन करने में ठुलो मदद पर आउंता सन इसी मोड का सदस्य देश औरो राशाते सोये की दात्री संस्था बाटा अपने विभिन्न किस्म का बियो तथा बिरो हरो पढ़ाया का सन जो ना हमेंले यहाँ गुदाबारी मात रुपए का सों वाटर स्कैसिटी the rain washes away soil and nutrients. For the rest of the year, it is too dry. At Godavari, different methods are demonstrated to reduce runoff and soil loss and to collect water and use it efficiently for irrigation. First, 
इस मोड में चाहिए गए रा टेनिंग पाये हम अरे तो टेक्नोलॉजी देख रहा हैं हमने त्यां देख रहे हैं जो पोखरी बनाए हैं तो इस पर ची अरे पानी चाहिए हमने जमाए में सरी पानी जमाए पर सी हमें अब सासात थोड़ी लाई सही अरे मजाले पूरी रहा सा तो तो पनी हो अरे इसमें फायदा से हमने मास्टर पनी पाया सुन अरे हमने चाहिए अरे जो पानी का समाचार को चाहिए समाधान बात सा� Bees are very important for mountain farming. Especially the Himalayan hive bee, Apis serrana, is very important for pollination of fruit trees and other crops in mountain areas. Bees also provide honey and other products for sale. Promoting indigenous bees means enhancing farm productivity, conserving biodiversity and helping with income generation all at the same time. So here we are uh, basically uh, using this farm for uh, pollination research and testing different beekeeping technologies. Here you see we have uh, different kinds of uh, uh, orchards here. We have conducted various kinds of experiments on the impact of these honeybees on the pollination and thereby increasing the yield and uh, quality of these fruit crops here. And then we are using this site for providing trainings and uh, demonstrating it to various visitors. Godavari is a beautiful model uh, of uh, mountain agriculture where ecosystem, agriculture and people, uh, they work together. And uh, this, in this model, beekeeping is one of the most important ingredients. And we see how beekeeping activities contributed to the ecosystem, to the improvement of forest in, and to the improvement of agricultural crops and horticultural crops. So uh, this is very much integrated to mountain farming system. So uh, we hope that this phenomenon will grow and expand all over Hindu Kush Himalayas. Livestock are an integral component of farming in the mid hills. Livestock eat crop residues and fodder from forest trees and convert them into fertilizers for the fields, whilst providing milk, meat and eggs, and raw material for clothing. At Godavari, we focus on helping farmers understand and take advantage of more productive improved breeds of goat and introduce them to Angora rabbits for wool production. Activities like the plant nursery, meteorological monitoring, biomass study and soil erosion monitoring support the test and trials and add to our basic knowledge. They provide the accurate information and material needed to interpret our results properly. We keep an ongoing record of flora and fauna and this shows the substantial gains we have made. Examples of close to 10% of the vascular plants of Nepal have now been identified at our 30 hectare site. And as our new wetlands area develops, this number can only increase. The number of approaches being tested and demonstrated continues to grow. The aim is to cover all the aspects involved in a truly integrated approach to mountain development. The information accumulated at the site is shared with farmers groups, development workers, students and others through training events, study tours and visits. Books, leaflets and other materials are being prepared for distribution to a wider audience. And a large number of seed, seedlings and plants have been provided to farmers and organizations across the region. In the last 10 years, more than 9,000 people from many different countries and organizations have taken part in training events or study tours. Now, Isimot has embarked on an ambitious program of community outreach, testing the upscaling of technologies with local villages and helping to develop farmer demonstration sites. The impact of these activities is spreading far beyond the local area. The activities at the Godavari site help to save and extend indigenous knowledge and provide a knowledge bank for farmers and those working with them on best practices and appropriate methods for making the most of their land while conserving their resources.
कोदावरी सेन्टर बाट चाहिँ हामीले धेरै कुराहरु सिकेको छ हाम्रो जीवनहरुलाई जीवनलाई पनि धेरै फाइदा भएको छ हाम्रो वन जंगलहरुले पनि एकदम फाइदा भएको छ Today Kodavri is spreading ideas that are used again and again at various levels and in different places. It's helping to build a potential for change and raising awareness of the endless possibilities for people across the greater Himalayan region. Truly, seeing is believing. What better way to spread knowledge than to help people to see and do for themselves? Bola bola hirta e kholera ke un chara mal sita bolera saile khani kola ba che ma bedo hola saile khani kola ba che ma bedo hola bola bola hirta e kholera ke un chara mal sita bolera saile khani kola ba che ma bedo hola